Today we're going to be reviewing a fragrance called You by Glossier. This fragrance has been on my radar for a little bit and its slogan is that it's the ultimate personal fragrance. It's not a fragrance, it's you. That sounds kind of bold. I mean, what if I don't like the way that I smell? What if I want to smell like somebody else? What if I want to smell like a god unicorn? Okay, maybe not like a unicorn. Although sometimes I do wish I smelled like a unicorn. But you get the point. And this particular fragrance falls into a niche where I am kind of underdeveloped. I am not going to be as thorough as this as I may be in other fragrances. This niche is called Skin Sense. Basically, your skin but better is the bill, right? And so there's been a couple of scents that I've experienced in this way. One that I did a review on the channel was Wood Sage and Sea Salt uh, by Joe Malone. The other scent, which I had not reviewed publicly, is Amelie by Fleur. They went on to discontinue that scent and kind of rebrand themselves. And so you may be more familiar with some of the more recent prominent fragrances, such as Somebody Would, Missing Person, Not Your Baby. What a lot of those have in common is that they're understated. They are meant to subtly outline and fit the texture of your skin and just make it that much more impressionable on more personal, more intimate contact and be a hashtag clean girl aesthetic. Seeing this on my radar and in social media got me kind of interested as this has been brought to the forefront of that entire niche. So without further ado, how does it actually smell? So this is the packaging. How does it feel? The construction of it is almost like a sheen, a super thin cardboard. If it isn't recyclable, then they did their branding a disservice. I'm not gonna look it up, I'm gonna just presume it is, given the niche that they rely in. And upon opening it, you are presented with the bottle. Now this bottle is iconic in its own sense. At first sight, you got in the lower fifth of this, this translucent glass slowly transitioning up to a kind of rosy cream color before you get to the top, which is this undersaturated red in a matte finish. It's plastic, of course, before you are met with the indentation of a thumb on the bottle. And slightly below that, you have what I presume to be their insignia, a G for Glossier. And so now that we know what the presentation looks like, let's see how this thing actually smells. I want to hate this fragrance. As somebody that spends a lot of time with the fragrances and lusting for beast mode fragrance, something to get you compliments, make you feel like a man, this fragrance comes in. As I said, I've had a little bit of experience with scents similar to this, and all of them made me feel justified with wood sage and sea salt. That fragrance was barely there and I consider myself to be fairly adept to it, but it came wafting in and then dissipating completely. There was almost no nuance in the fragrance. With particular Amelie, that particular fragrance felt super synthetic and you could kind of tell what they were going for. Slightly stronger than wood sage and sea salt, but like still not satisfying to my nose. Enter this fragrance. My expectation was to come into this saying that this fragrance is worthless or at the very least, it is very targeted to a niche of people that don't care about fragrances. They just want to be able to feel as if they smell clean and nothing else. Maybe they're sensitive to fragrances. Maybe they have some underlying reasons why they just don't want to care about it. And that's fair. Not everybody has to be. However, when I first smelled this fragrance, I felt intrigued, a bunch of emotions because this scent is not beast mode, but it does something that all the others hadn't done. It grabbed my attention. Through the softness, through the stillness, it just <laughs> grabbed your nose straight to you before it dissipated, where it settled, daring you to come closer, daring you to figure out what it is that scent. It has this addictive nature to it. That is at least my first impressions. 
In terms of the claims of your skin but better, maybe. I think the thought process, the advertising behind it is that somehow it is a scent that when applied to everybody will give its own sort of energy or type of smell. It mixes with your body chemistry and in fragrances, we love to talk about body chemistry in terms of longevity, projection, how things smell on them and use that to justify why one scent may not work on one person, but it works on this person. There is a little bit of truth to that, but it is also overblown. It is used to fudge the bounds of subjectivity in order to kind of buff over those rough comments or reviews of a particular fragrance. This fragrance in a way is almost too prominent in its very nature to kind of fit its outline goals. However, I feel like it achieves the idea better than all the peers that I have smelled so far. It is prominent, it will, in terms of how it mixes with your composition, it will buff out and elevate a scent above your personal scent to the point where it has its own unique identity. And for that, I can't blame it. In terms of the things that bring it this composition, it is musk, it is iris, and a whole bunch of care to detail. So who is this fragrance for? If you've been lost in the sauce, chasing that beast mode, chasing that projection, that first date or ultimate fragrance, this is probably not the same for you. Eventually, or maybe never, you will come to a point in your fragrance journey where you appreciate subtlety, nuance, and detail in a fragrance. The type of fragrance that is like a ninja to your nose plucking your intrigue before subtly pulling away, readying for its next strike. And that is what this fragrance is. For those days where you still wanna retain that ability, that projection, that sense of self with you, but don't wanna overplay your hand too much, that is where this fragrance comes into play. So if you fit into that particular thing, just know that you will get value here. As I said, in fragrances are reviewed, that costs way more. They didn't deliver half of what this does. There definitely is value here. It's whether you appreciate that or not. So with that being said, this particular fragrance is a little bit out of my wheelhouse. Maybe I would like to explore more of this, but really a lot of that does come down to the feedback that I get to this video. So if you appreciate it, leave a like, maybe even a comment below, maybe even a subscribe and hit the bell and you know, whatever. You've tuned up at this point. Thank you for your time. I'll see you next time.